Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? coming out of 125th Street, 1 West ha um, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. Uh, DC, I always have to ask you a question. It's funny to me how every time when a black man comes out here and talks truth, we end up fighting each other. We end up having people come up here that look like us, that we're trying to help, that will attack us. I guarantee you those same people though, when the white boss enters the boardroom, they're not trying to have a conversation with them. I guarantee you they're sitting there and learning when the white boss is talking about what they need to do with the company. I guarantee you they're going to sit there and say, what do I need to do next, supervisor, boss? But when the black man comes out here and is trying to save your own, what do we do? We fight each other. The black men and Hispanic men and native men back here, we are here for you black men, native men, Hispanic men. We're here to teach you the truth. That the truth is that the conquistador is the devil that is running the earth right now. That's why we're here to teach you. We're not here to fight you or attack you. I guarantee those same people that come up here and attack black men, when the wife gets up and gives a piece of her mind, they sit in silence because that's what the Christian church teaches them anyway. So it's not that we're up here to fight against you, black man, Hispanic, and native man, but sometimes you have to be silent and listen. Just like when we're silent, when the white boss talks to you, be silent and hear for some black men, Hispanic men, and native men of the Lord. That's why we're up here. And when we up here and we're fighting each other, we forget the real criminal that has destroyed the earth. That's what we start to forget. Don't forget the crimes of the real criminal. All these men back here have reformed their lives. But let me ask you, has the conquistador reformed his systems? He absolutely has not reform himself. So why not attack or speak against that instead of attacking against the men of the Lord? This is what we need to really think about. Now, let's go and talk about what we need to address today. My question is, will America pay for the crimes that they have done? Will America pay for the 77 million natives that they destroyed on this landmass? Will America pay for the incarceration of our Hispanic brothers on the border? Will America pay for the mass incarceration of black men? Will America pay for the Tuskegee experiment when they gave our black men syphilis? Will America pay for George Floyd? Will America pay for these crimes? You know, a lot of times Christianity will teach us to forget, but guess what? The man against General Johannes taught us God does not forget those crimes. And since God does not forget those crimes, he is going to require of what this country has done to the Narragansetts, what this country has done to the Lakota Sioux, what the country has done to the Pequots. God has not forgotten those crimes. And we're going to prove it out of here in this Bible today. Give me Jeremiah 51, verse 24. We're going to go through the Bible today and show you that this nation called the United States, will not stand forever. It will not stand. Just like that Rome, old Rome was destroyed and did not stand, the United States will not stand because the Most High remembers those crimes and he's coming back to make America pay for those crimes that they have done to our people. So instead of coming over here and arguing and fighting with us, sit and listen as we teach you about what's going to happen to this country. Jeremiah 51 verse 24. Just sit and listen for a second, all right? Because we know in other circumstances, you would sit and listen to that Christian pastor who was just pimping you for the money out of your pockets. Well, sit and listen 
to the men of the Lord who are standing up here for free to tell you the truth. Here we go. You got that, brother? Jeremiah 51, verse 24. This is biblical prophecy. This is stuff that the Lord foretold would happen to a nation called America in the end times. And we are living in those end times. And how do we know? Because the Bible has foretold of things that will happen before they did happen. Let's look at the scripture here. Let's read it, brother. Go ahead, read. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 24. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of, of Philadelphia. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea. All their evil. All their what? All their evil. All their what? All their evil. The crimes against the Narragansett. All their evil. The crimes against the people. All the crimes against the black man. All their evil. The crimes against our Hispanic brother. All their evil. Redlining. Evil. Mass incarceration. Do we hear this? All their evil. The Most High is going to repay America for all the evil that they've done. The evil that they continue to do. It's not like they have stopped the crimes that they've done. Nobody, like we know this, nobody gives up power willingly. We had a lady up here just a few minutes ago that tried to show, I tried to prove to my brother that she wasn't a racist. This same lady couldn't even bow down to the prophets or priests of the Lord. You know why? Because she has the same spirit as her forefathers had. And that's why she has to pay and her children's children have to pay. Read it again from the top. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 24. Go ahead. And I will render unto Babylon. Now Babylon is the modern day America, okay? Now let's give a little bit of history. Babylon was a kingdom in the ancient, in the ancient Bible, okay, in the ancient times. And it was created first by um, Nimrod, okay? He created the Tower of Babel, Babel. And in that, there was all types of sins and stuff going on there. All types of mixed religions, all types of alternative lifestyles, all types of sins that you can think of. Everything that goes against the laws of the Most High was happening in Babylon. And guess what? Babylon was taken down and destroyed. And guess what? The Most High will do the same thing to this Babylon called America. And why will he do that? We have to ask why. There was people up here. Why are you brothers standing up here? One brother came up. What's the reason? The reason is because we're trying to wake our people up. Break our people up so they can come out and not do the atrocities of what the conquistador has done or what the colonizer has done. Read it again. Okay. And I will bring it unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea. All the evil that they have done in Zion. All their evil that they have done in Zion. That's talking about the children of Israel. Can people, can we just be honest up here? Has the conquistador done, has the conquistador been nice to the black man in America? Has the conquistador done us well? Have they done good by us? Have they? Even though we have just shown you up here, we've been the best servant in this country. Serving in every war, saluting the flag, fighting for this system that actually hates us. Well, guess what? Commander General Yohana has taught us God has not forgetting, forgotten the crimes that Babylon, this American system, has done. And he's gonna bring down and rain down terror on this system because of the evil that they have done to the black man, Hispanic man, and native man. People will always say, well, guess what? Well, black people do crimes too. Well, guess what? A lot of times when we do a crime, what happens to us? We're thrown all in prison and the key is thrown away. But what has happened to the colonizer? Has he been charged with the crimes that he has done? Has he done? When the Holocaust was uh, uh, ended in the 1940s, what did they do? They put all the Nazis on trial for the crimes that they committed. But have we put the colonizer on trial for his crimes? Don't worry, the Most High is gonna do it. And being on trial, from the Most High, uh, on trial by the Most High is a dangerous time. It's very dangerous. And that's why we're asking you black man, Hispanic man, and native man to come out so you won't be part of those atrocities that the Most High is gonna rain down. Let's get some more on this Bible here. Let's read verse 25 now. 
Okay, so we're talking about the crimes that Babylon has done. And we can admit it, can't we admit that? Hasn't America done crimes to the black man? Hasn't they? Hasn't America done, I mean, hasn't America done evil? Haven't they done atrocities that are beyond belief to the black man? Well, shouldn't somebody be pay for that crime? Because guess what? If the criminal does not pay for a crime, what does he do? He continues doing those crimes. He continues in that same behavior. Unless he is stopped, he'll continue doing the same behaviors over and over. So guess what? It's going to take a God to stop the colonizer. It's going to take a mighty God to stop it. And guess what? He'll stop it quicker than you think. He'll put this country on their knees fast, just as fast as he put Egypt on their knees when they were having us as enslaved individuals. And this was, guess what? The, and guess what? The punishment is worse. You thought the punishment of Egypt and the Bible was bad. Wait till you see the punishment that the Most High brings down on this modern day Babylon. Let's continue reading. Go ahead. We're in the, go ahead and tell us what chapter and verse. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. Most High said, I'm against thee. And he's talking about the mountain. He's talking about the empire. I am against thee, O destroying mountain. What group of people on the ends of the earth have gone into every nation? My brother Kazak told us or taught us earlier how they've been to every part of the earth and destroyed everything. He said even the fish have something to complain about. Even the fish, every all of creation has had something to complain about about the crimes that the conquistador has done. Read. Come, come. Say the Lord which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee. When the Most High just stretches out his hand, all right, this is not a good sign. He's gonna stretch out his hand, just like he told Moses that he would do to the Egyptians. He said, I will stretch out my hand get against Egypt, and he's gonna do it again. Read on. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rock, and will make thee a burnt mouth. He's going to destroy this nation by fire. He's going to stretch out his hand and destroy America for all the crimes that they have committed, black man. You know what's so funny, black man? Instead of us arguing with each other, you know what the colonizer did in Europe? The French, the Germans, the Spaniards, and the Portuguese, they didn't like each other, but one thing they did, they came together to do the greatest crime on ever recorded history against us. So why can't we just come together? Why can't you listen to the black men back here? Instead of fighting against the black men right here, why don't you have the same attitude? And but you know why, black men? There are going to be people that look like us that are fighting against us. You know why they fight against us? You know the real secret is? It's because they secretly love the conquistador. They can secret, they secretly want a crumb from the conquistador. They want validation. Instead of getting validation from a black man, they want validation from Mr. Johnson at their job. Their boss that said that's over them at their slavery. That's where they want the validation of. And that's the thing, and that's Yeah, Babylon is falling